this demonstration we're going to look at creating distribution groups and the distribution group is a email address that we can send messages to we can also book rooms for uh, what this will allow is if we create the distribution group and add members to it everybody in that group will get the email message or will get the room request for example so in order to create a group we've come into our exchange admin center we come to recipients and we come to groups and to create a group we click our plus button and we specify distribution group that brings us into wizard so we just need to fill out some information relating to this group so I'm going to call this aw underscore sales mgrs give it an alias of aw sales mgr not going to bother adding any notes I'm going to put that into adventure work sales organizational unit I'm going to leave administrator as the owner We then got members, so we can add group owners as members. So at this point here, if that tick box is turned on, administrator becomes a member. Uh, but we will add some additional members by clicking the plus button. And all we're going to do at this point here is we're going to find our two users that we want to add. So we'll add in Christy. Uh, what we'll also do as well is we'll add a user called Perry. Uh, we'll select our OK button. Now further down what we also have as well is we have some options here. We can make this an open group where users can join without being approved by the group owners. We can make it closed. So basically we add the members. We can do exactly the same for users leaving the group as well. So I'm going to make that closed as well and select save. So that is a managed group for all intents and purposes. Let's create another one and let's create one for Adventure Work News. So again we'll click plus. We'll create our distribution group but we'll make this one open membership. So for this one, we're going to call this one Adventure Work News. The alias will be Adventure Work News. Again, I'm not going to bother adding any notes, but I will put it into the organization unit of Adventure Works. I'm happy with you want to be an administrator. In the case of members, I'm not going to add any members because I'm going to leave this as open membership and the ability for anybody to leave the group as well. We'll select our Save button. And that creates the group. So if we click the Edit button, so things we can do on a group is on the general page the general information so I can hide it from my address list for example ownership so we can see administrator membership so members currently administrator remember this is the open group membership approval we've left is open in the case of our delivery management so by default only senders inside the organization can send messages to this group so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to allow senders inside and outside my organization to send messages to this group it's the uh, Adventure Works News. In the case of message approval, so we do have the ability for any messages sent to this group to be moderated. And at this point here, this is where we can add a moderator if we wish. Email options. So in the case of email options, what we have is we have the email address. Then we've got a mail tip, so we can put a mail tip in place as well. So mail tip is something a user will see before they actually click the send button. So I'm going to add a mail tip to say this is the group for news and adventure works and then finally what we have is we have a group delegation so send as receive as permissions sorry send as permissions and send on behalf as permissions as well so we'll select save and what we've done at this point here is we've created two distribution groups within our exchange 2019 organization and that's the end of this demonstration thank you